I'm gonna give you a tour in the most famous calisthenics gym that is right behind me. In Bulgaria we have over 140 parks in 60 different cities. But in this gym the top calisthenics athletes from my country have been training here, including myself. While I'll show you around, I'll share some personal stories about different parts of the gym. So let's start our gym tour. First thing that I want to show you is our super old but favorite P-Bar. It's a gymnastics P-Bar. We don't have uh, now any calisthenics P-Bar or something, but we are really happy with this one. For us, it's really comfortable to train on it. I still remember the first time, it was 2019 when I was in the gym. I hear about a meeting with all the calisthenics athletes and it, it was my first time that I did some crazy performance in front of the people. Why I'm saying the first time in front of the people? Because before I started training with the people here inside of the gym, all the calisthenics athletes, I was training alone in the gym because I, I was really stressed train with the other guys I was thinking I, I have not enough level and after some months I started to train with them and we have fun here in the gym as you can see also on Victor Kamenov's old old school legendary videos everything is the same nothing really changed but behind this p-bar there was a wall and there was a mirror that we always look at our forms on the side and this is something that we actually missed this uh, mirror but now we have a beautiful fitness inside that is a huge upgrade for the gym. We also have more space to train inside and we're really happy about that. The reason why I really love this P-Bar and it's my favorite from so many years is that this P-Bar is giving me the full potential to unlock my maximum performance every time and to prepare myself for the competitions the maximum. So that's why I really love it. I can do swings on it, I can do crazy combos and I can test myself before every competition. So now we are going in the fitness. As you can see, it's not that big, but it's something that is helping us a lot. We have a lot of machines here that we can train for every specific muscle and everything that we need. As you can see, we have a lot of uh, equipment from Gornation. They're the official sponsor of the gym, so we're so thankful to them. And this is a huge upgrade and it's giving a lot of potential to the athletes to progress even more from that place. So the question how I went for the first time in this gym are right here. So I was outside there is a calisthenics park and the first person that I met there was Netco. I know Netco since 2012 when I was still a gymnast but after some years I think it was 2019 I met him again in the park there I was training some statics we see each other and he was like hey man you know what you need to go in the gym there is a calisthenics community you need to start training with us and you see how how far you can go you're really talented this this is what I hear from him for the first time that we meet, met each other again. So officially, this is a gymnastics gym. It's not a calisthenics gym, but we have approval from the gym owner, which is also a professional gymnastics coach here in Bulgaria. Delan Dimitrov is the person that pushed me at the beginning to do calisthenics. He's one of my best friends and he's doing everything for the calisthenics to keep growing. Dido is also two times parkour world champion and he's helping me a lot to increase my skills in calisthenics. So normally before every workout, all the athletes, we are going here inside of the fitness. We don't know why, but we are warm uping all together here. Imagine around 20 to 30 athletes here and there is absolutely free sometimes but we are again going here for a warm-up so here we have some machines we need to fix some things actually <laughs> but we are in progress here we have some rings also normally i'm not training in the rings but uh, for example netco is doing some stuff here we have a free space this one here is really good for uh, videos for reels for instagram so sometimes people in the gym athletes they're shooting some stuff also is good for some photos because it's clean behind not now but if we clean it it's gonna be good this machine is for legs you know we never touch it <laughs> for some reasons we move on to the weights here we have weights now i'm doing a lot of workouts with weights not only with body weight and it's increasing my strength even more here is other machine here we can do some dips for a warm-up some pull-ups there the bench press and here we have some equipment from gornation some weeks ago we received the static bar that we're training on it now and the deep bars also we have some parallels from them and as you know they're the official sponsor of the gym right now now the most interesting thing and the most wanted the high bar so this is the high bar this is the place that we're training the most in the gym imagine here we are around 30 35 40 athletes sometimes and it's only one bar so the hype here is real and this is the bar that i learned everything from the beginning this is the bar that i 
suffer so much and enjoy so much every single day. This is the bar that I did the craziest combos in my life and the bar that I'm preparing myself for competitions. Nothing really changed through the years. It's absolutely the same high bar that Viktor Kamenov was training, Stefan Erotev, Radoslav Radev and a lot more athletes. So we are still doing our things on it. We love it, we don't want to change it, but it's a little bit difficult for the people that are coming all around the world to visit the legendary gym. And when they go on the bar, they're really surprised and they're saying this is one of the hardest things and one of the hardest bars to perform on it. So I want to share with you some stories about this bar from the beginning when I start 2019. I was here in the gym. I always visited the gym in a different time from the other guys just to train alone and to be sure I have the level in the future to train with them. And at the beginning, I still remember I put the bar on that height right here because I was really scared to perform on higher position of the bar and I start with some 360s to learn some variations, tornados. Also I learned shrimp flip. Shrimp flip was the skill that I said to myself I will never do it and just in some attempts I catch it here in the gym I was really happy and the combos just increased with the time. At the beginning of course I was training just for fun. I was full of motivation. Motivation was the thing that that was supporting me all the time. I just wake up in the morning and I'm like, oh man, I will do dynamics in the gym. Actually, dynamics was the, the more interesting thing for me at the beginning instead of statics. And when I, when I visited the gym, I always started with dynamics. Now is the absolutely opposite side. I'm training the statics for on the, first on the P-bar and then I'm going to the high bar. And it's so much stories about this place right here. And now in my head is so much, but if I can share one of them with you, is the first thing that only with, after one year of workout, I catch my first muscle up 540. There was so crazy hype in the gym right here. And I remember how scared I was but there was a lot of people and I got a motivation. And sometimes when you got a motivation and you want to do it, you totally forgot about the fear. So the bar is not a new one. It's not exactly a calisthenics high bar, but this is what makes us really professional because when we adapt and we can do our combos on this one, after that to do it on the competition is much easier for us. So this is our new huge upgrade. It's a second high bar that we have right here. It's flexible one, but it's really stable, really wide, and it's really good to perform crazy dynamic moves. We have a lot of kids that prefer this bar and they're doing crazy dynamics, crazy, like 720s, 900 and everything. And we're also getting motivated from the kids because they're pushing so much the freestyle right now. And for us, this is really important. So here we have high bar number three. This is my personal favorite when you talk about to learn new dynamic elements. The other guys don't really like it, but I really love it. I'll share with you one funny, story about how I learned my frisbee on this high bar. So I did around 20 to 30 attempts every single day for one month. I fell more than 100 times. I didn't understand the technique about the frisbee and the dido. The owner of the gym teach me about the technique. He helped me a lot with that and he catch it first. And after that, I was super motivated to do this element. I was spamming it every day. And at least finally I catch it on this high bar. And that's one of the reasons why I really love it even now. So here is our favorite place and my personal favorite place for a warm up. This is the trampoline from a kid. I love trampoline. I was training gymnastics, as you know, and I was really good at trampoline. So here, before the workout, where some of the athletes were coming here, were sitting and just jumping, doing some flips and stuff, making a good warm up before the high bar. And the connection between the trampoline and the high bar is really important because when you do flips, after that, you're prepared for the high bar and dynamics. Okay, here next to the trampoline, we have the rings. It's a professional gymnastics rings. And here we're gonna talk for legendary moments, not from other guys, but from Viktor Kamenov. All the athletes around the world were motivated by Viktor Kamenov, including myself with his statics performance on the ground, on the rings and on the parallels. And the last thing here that I want to share with you in the gym, here is the place on this bar. We are doing static combinations and we are performing everything that we want to prepare for competitions and trying some new different variations about the statics. After that, we are moving to the high bar and to see what we can do. The gym is not the best one, it is really old. It is not the most beautiful one, but the atmosphere inside is changing the game. This place is my favorite one. Sometimes I really hate it, 
sometimes I really love it. But the final result is that we are all together here and training together. I prefer to be here and working hard for my goals instead of being somewhere. This is the place that I suffer and enjoy. This is the place that I'm sad and happy. But this is the place that will be always my second home. So this is the end of the tour. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and see you in the next future videos.